Hi, my name is Karen McCarthy. I'm co-founder of Yes Youth Empowerment Services, and I'm very happy to be presenting our program to you today. Yes was formed in March of 2016 in response to concerns my husband Kaz and I had about the youth of our community. We are standing in our youth center right now, and as you can see, this is our, our lounge area where we have our snacks, we play games, we have karaoke and music, and um, just generally hang out. To give you a little background on the concerns that Kaz and I had, Anaconda is considered one of the most poverty-stricken communities in Montana, and it also has one of the highest rates of suicide. Our youth are significantly impacted by these factors, whether they deal with them in their own homes or those of their friends. Youth are also heard to frequently complain that there's nothing to do in their community. And as recent YMCA commercials warn, misbehaving youth are bored youth. So we started the center to counteract those issues. Let's come on down here to the art room right now. We have an activity going on that you can take a peek at. Okay, what's your favorite? Patty is our coordinator of arts and crafts and she has amazing ideas to do art crafts with Why? our youth. <laughs> Say hi, Dominic. Hi. <laughs> One other trend in our society that we are very concerned about is the screen time trend. Um, screen time is being seen to erode communication skills, the ability to form and, re and maintain interpersonal relationships, and also detrimental to the development of a positive work ethic. Now if you think I'm over at, at stating that, let me tell you what happened at Easter. I was at church and the couple in front of me had their daughter, son-in-law, and grandchildren there. The grandmother was trying to communicate with her grandson, and he was looking at her with kind of a blank look. Eventually she said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm talking to you, should I be texting? She was kidding, of course, but her grandson got a relieved look on his face and said, yeah, that'd be great. And when I talked to grandma later, she said she's noticed that it's increasingly difficult to have an actual conversation with her grandchildren, as they really do prefer to communicate via texting. So this obsession with gaming is also affecting the workplace um, and the, the health of our youth. We have youth who are becoming more and more overweight and out of shape, and unfortunately this trend is following them into adulthood. Business owners also tell me that their employees are spending more time doing gaming, texting, Facebook, things like that than they are doing the actual work they're being paid for. And often they'll have the skills needed for the job, but they're let go because they're doing other things than what they're being paid for. So we want to counteract that by helping our youth develop other leisure time interests and also develop a good work ethic. We're heading down to the gym now, and you can see what we do down there. We have a lot of activities in the gym, and the kids develop um, team building skills. They get in better shape, and they have a lot of fun. So we're real happy to share our program with you and we hope that you enjoy our presentation. Thank you.